leverages. So in this section, we will take a look at what leverages are. We will go through what is operating leverage, what is financial leverage, EBIT, EPS analysis we will take a look at. In difference point, we will see what it is and then we will also take a look at what is combined leverage. So first leverages. Typically, a firm can make use of different sources of financing with a difference in the costs associated in acquiring them. For exposure purposes, let us say that these sources may be classified in a manner grouping ones which carry fixed rate of return and ones whose are variable. Since debt always involved payment of a stated or proclaimed rate of interest, the ordinary shareholders expect a return which is affected by a magnitude of debt in proportion to the effects which may be felt in the firm's capital structure. When is a leverage term favorable to the company and when it becomes unfavorable? This is answered by considering the earnings which is available to shareholders over variable costs associated with acquiring a fund. If it exceeds the fixed costs associated with acquiring funds, the leverage is considered favorable and if it does not exceed, it is considered unfavorable. Basically, there are two types of leverages. One is operating leverage and the other one is financial leverage. The leverage associated with investment activities is referred to as operating leverage, whereas the leverage associated with financing activities, that is ones where lenders come into picture, is referred to as financial leverage. However, the two types of leverages are interconnected. For instance, operating leverage is derived out of relationships between a firm's sales revenue and its earnings before interest and tax. EBIT is also called operating profit, which is earnings before income and tax. On the other hand, financial leverage is representative of a firm's earnings before in interest and tax and the earnings which are normally available for shareholders. Hence, in this section, we discuss EBIT or earnings before income and ta interest and tax as the pivotal point in defining operating and financial leverages, as well as discuss an elaboration of return and risk and their combined effects.